Hi there, my name is Bianca Bombshell and thank you so much for tuning into my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do this simple pin-up style, also known as a suicide rule. For this, all you need is bobby pins, a hairspray, and a curling iron. Okay, so what you want to do to start is just uh, section off your hair. You want to just take the first portion of your hair like this. Depending on how big you want the roll to be, that's going to determine how much hair. So I will go backwards and just kind of grab a chunk about that big. It's kind of hard to tell, but it's really not a whole lot of hair. If you have too much hair, it's going to be gigantic on your head and you don't want that. So just uh, soften this hair out a bit and then take the back of a comb or a bobby pin or whatever you like and make a triangle out of the shape. Out of this piece, rather. Okay. There we go. Now what you want to do with this piece, let's just kind of put it right in front of you like this. <clears throat> so now take the remainder of your hair with a hair tie and uh, just gather it up. Give it a quick tie at the back. Okay, now with this chunk of hair, what you want to do is you want to grab a curling iron. Um, I already have it preheated. Nothing really huge. I like the medium-sized ones. <clears throat> okay, now for this curl, what you want to do is you want to have it coming towards yourself. Just like this. So underneath and towards your face. So you're going to be rolling just like this. So by the time you get it to the top of your head, it's actually going to kind of look like a like a faux 50s bang kind of thing. So then just kind of let it sit for just a quick minute, depending on the strength of your hot iron. And I don't have any product in my hair yet. This is just washed and blow-dried yesterday. So there's a little bit of hairspray left over from yesterday, but not much. Okay, so now you have a cute little curl at the end of your hair like this. Now what you want to do is you want to start at the back and just section off little pieces. So this is just a little bit of hair there. And depending on which comb you like, if you have a comb for teasing, you can use that. I just have this, this little guy here, so I use this for my teasing. But you have to be really careful because these can get caught in your hair. So now what you want to do is you want to tease the back section of your hair. Okay, and then just kind of let it fall behind you like that. Now you want to keep doing that with each section of your hair, so just section it off and then work your way back. And it's okay if it falls and goes all over the place. If it gets really unruly, what you do is just grab a little bit of hairspray and then just kind of spray it in place so it stays there. Okay, so then you just keep going. I've got about two more layers and then I'll be done. So it doesn't matter if you go from the front or the back. I do both because I just like to get them really big. A little bit more spray. Try not to get it in my eyes. Okay, so now this last one, I'm going to do this one from behind. Okay, so now you have this huge coof on the top of your head. You just want to give it a good spray. Now, if I'm going to go do my makeup or do something, I'll just give this little section of hair just a quick pin at the back of my head. Okay, so once you're done rocking a mohawk and you've let it sit just for a few minutes, what you want to do is you want to gather all this hair and bring it forward. So you're going to kind of look like this. Make sure all the rest of your hair is still securely put behind you. So, now what you want to do is just very, very, very carefully brush it over on each side. So you're going to have a poof of teased hair underneath there. And then you're going to choose which side you want to come to. Oftentimes when I do my rolls, I always go to my right side. So it's going to look on the left side to you, but that's what I like to do. I'm going to come over. Now this portion of hair here can always get pretty tricky. 
to style. So what you do is just make it really soft and I'll spray it a little bit. Get all those little pieces of hair over. And then with this chunk, make sure, make sure right in this little nook that it's clean. Very, very gently just brushing over top of that hair. Now from here, what you want to do is you want to just hook your finger right around this and bring your hair up towards the back of your head, just like this. So from here, what you want to do is you want to take this hair and then bring it back towards yourself so it's kind of dangling down, all the while holding on to that piece that you brought back. Then what you want to do is you want to curl this hair around towards your face all the while holding very tightly. Then you wanna just keep wrapping the hair within this. Just kind of like one of those little snakes that live in the baskets. Oops, here comes my snake. Do, 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 All right, so now, now while your hair is inside this roll, Now what you want to do is just grab one of your bobby pins and then just tuck it in the side underneath the main roll so it just tucks right under there. Then I like to take the center and just kind of separate it and make sure that it's hollow and that you can see the roll. Now all this flyaway and stuff that you see if you just press it down <clears throat> with hairspray, it'll go away. Now I'm doing this on the webcam, so it's hard to see, but when I'm doing photo shoots, I'll, of course I'll do this in front of a mirror, and I'm, I'm a little bit more picky in terms of flyaways. So if this is just out and about for the day, I would, I would wear this and it doesn't matter. I'm really not that picky about flyaways, it's just hair. So here we go, now that's tight on your head. Now you may need a few more pins. Now what you can do is just come in from the back here and pin that over the other pin that you had just put in. And if you have, see that looks a little messy back there, so what I would do is just grab one of my smaller bobby pins and then I would just kind of tuck that mess in a little bit. As long as your hair is brown, that's easy to do, but if your hair is blonde, it's it's difficult, I tell ya. Okay. Okay, so I've just tossed my hair back really loosely just so I can show you the, the look of the bandana. Once again, if you want the bandana to fully cover your entire head, you have to fold it in half and then make sure that it's not all the way over. You want to have a whole bunch of excess fabric like this. So then take the inside fold and make sure that that's up against the back of your head like this. Then you want to take the two pieces and bring them around to the front of your head. Just like this. All the while keeping this piece direct, whoop, directly in the middle. Try not to lose it. Okay, so then you're just gonna take these pieces and just tuck them under if you need to. And then with these pieces, just shove them in there. I like to keep this um, as straight down the front of my face as possible, just so it looks, all the patterns look lined up. Okay, so now behind your roll, just tie it. Now with this extra fabric that's spitting out from the front, just take it and tuck it to the side, underneath, very gently, it'll stay there. Then just a little bit tighter, and then you do a second tie, just like this. Okay. And you just want to do a quick spray over.
and then what you want to do is you want to take uh, bobby pins to fasten the bandana. So I take them and I go up towards my head. That way they are actually going over different layers of my hair. If you were to go just straight back, that wouldn't really help anything. Okay, so there we go. And if you have, see how this little bit of hair is just coming out? That's because of my bobby pin. So what I would do is I would just come back and just stuff it under. It doesn't matter. It's under there. No one can see it. it it'll be our little secret. Once again. So if you need to come back in here um, and just push those under and really give it a little bit of extra hairspray to just really make them go. So that piece just doesn't want to, it's just messing with me. It just doesn't, it wants to be free. Okay, so I'm going to take it out. And then I'm going to make it behave. A little bit of hairspray to push it back. Now I like to show you how to deal with troublesome things like this. I'm not going to fast forward it or I'm not going to stop it because you need to know how, how I would deal with it. And once again, this is just casual. I'm not doing a photo shoot. This is just if I was going to go, you know, go out or whatever and I wanted to look pretty. Okay. There you go. Now you have your bandana look with the stop.